And welcome back to Predator Alliance League 2020. My name is Uomi and together with me will be Dash and we will be casting over quality campus esports action, League of Legends. And Dash, how are you doing? Okay, it's a bit cold now in Manila. We know that's it. So, what we can see now is LG vs. Warlocks. Again, very... What do you call it? Very... Old teams na before we saw them on other collegiate leagues na. Yeah, and uh, yun yun. These are teams that are very old in campus esports already, and very exciting to see them. Yeah, yun nga. Very excited to see them with what's happening ngayon sa collegiate esports, no? Kaya, I think we're gonna be excited with what's happening. Kasi 0-1 tong LG Esports at Ateneo and also Warlocks with the 0-0 kasi hindi sila naglaro last week. So, let's see what's gonna happen uh, before the pick and ban siguro later. And yeah, so yun nga. So see what's gonna happen. Nung last week, kasi we saw LG uh, lost to FIT, right? Kaya, I don't know. We're having a bit of technical difficulties. Oh, week. actually, yeah. in, uh, yeah. it's already fixed. Okay na. So okay na. I'm quite happy about that. So apparently, it's uh, not on. Uh, it's on my end. I haven't muted our playback, so I was quite distracted to hear myself over the call. But then again, guys, apologies for the viewers over there. We will be continuing towards the pick and ban phase for our first matchup of today for week two, game one of Predator Alliance League. Again, we are your casters for this game. My name is Suomi. Together will me with me will be Dash. And our first ban for LG Esports will be that Akali. Yeah, and we're seeing an Akali very actually in the Nomen Shakanonka strong. Probably a respect pick from the other side, K Pandora or K Stellar Dito. And also a Kazex ban. Really strong right now, especially after the patch na binop yung kanyang Q when it's enraged, right? Up upgraded, I mean. Oh yeah, Taste Their Fear really is the best tool for Kha'Zix in picking off isolated targets. So I'm quite surprised. Uh, it's probably obvious on why they would ban this champion early on in this uh, early on in this banning phase, making sure that this assassin will not wreak havoc in the rift anytime soon but for the second ban of lg esports i think they're going towards this volibear and volibear one of those champions rising up in the meta as of now really really strong at the volibear and especially with how tanky he is and also the uh the pocket om wrecker alam natin wala om wrecker ngayon pero pocket om wrecker with volibear and we're seeing a set ban here yeah an r.i.p om wrecker indeed but it lives on with Volibear, and as we all know, Ohm Wrecker's name is kind of close. Dun sa yung Ohm na word, it's uh, with electricity currents and stuff yeah. like that. So trivia yeah. lang. And Where's Volibear is a similarly themed character. Taykita naman natin that it's also implemented sa kanyang kit. Quite oh, the champion point. for diving. And in this meta dash, nakita uh, natin madalas. Kadalasan talaga na mga nangyayari ngayon are aggressive dives. Talagang mm -hmm. bakbakan agad. Even if the turret is still healthy. But for the yeah. last ban of Warlocks, it's gonna be a Bird. bard. Mm -hmm. And diretso na nga tayo sa picking phase ngayon. Ano kaya magiging priority pick ng LG since they will be blue side? Well, nakita natin ang bard and also Caitlyn ban. Most likely, uh, magpipick ng bottom lane. So, yeah. As I said, Ezreal has been picked on the bottom lane. Very safe pick. Also, until mid through late game, really strong pick. Yeah, and Ezreal, alam naman natin that Ezreal, as of now in the current meta, still one of the safest. Never hindi naging safe si Ezreal in any kind of meta, even in an assassin field meta before. Ezreal still one of the safest. And speaking of safe AD carries, Warlocks immediately respond with what could have been a Saya that could have, could have, should save herself with Featherstorm in, ter in terms of 
protection nga sa sarili. But we are looking at a, uh, an Ash lock-in for the Warlock. So, ibig sabihin nito, they will have an immobile carry. Medyo kailangan ng mag-aalaga dito. And speaking Yan. of mag-aalaga, they lock in this Brom. Yeah, kita nga natin, Ash is a strong pick bottom lane, can engage fights, very utility based, kahit walang escape, low mobility, but there's Brom to save him in case every, anything happens. Actually, Frost team tong bot lane nila, wag nakita natin. A lot oh, of may slows bono, coming May bonuses right? ba yan pagka yeah. parehas ang affiliation? Meron ba tayong <laughs> Freljord bonus <laughs> na makikita bonus, dito sa right? Warlocks? Yeah. For LGE Sports, the classic Karma Ezreal. Totally not a uh, Legends of Runeterra deck. Uh, <laughs> then dito na nga, it's Karma on the support. Pero tignan natin kung support nga ba talaga mm. ang mapupuntahan ng lane na Karma to, to Because as we all know, Karma, one of the champions that could actually be flexed in the mid lane as well. But Zoe pick says oh. otherwise. Yeah, Karma respect uh, flex pick can go to top lane then actually uh, and support. Top lane can go with that grass and go support late in the game. Zoe as the pick, and there's a Galio pick on the mid lane. A lot of global pressure, siguro dito kay Galio. Walang response. Zoe will be picked on it, but I think Zoe can fight this Galio early, early in the game because of his range. Yeah, I have to say that Galio, even if medyo makunat siya against magic damage. Zoe is still one of those champions that if you land your skill shots well in the correct... I mean, it, you have to be precise if you're playing Zoe. Mm -hmm. So, if you land your Sleepy Trouble Bubble together with a long-range battle star, most of the time, magic resist doesn't even work. Uh, it's just that strong even up to this date na nakarami na nga ng nerf sa battle star. Yeah. But for the fourth ban coming in from Warlocks, they will be Ooh. banning out this Wukong. Wukong in the top lane, one of the menaces that could just knock you up twice in a fight, you don't want any of that in any kind of team fight you would want for your team. Yeah, yeah and really strong, especially sa mga skirmish talaga on the top lane. Especially sa meta sa top lane, eh. Wukong is really strong. It can spec to Ruin King. And there's there you see, a Camille ban. Kasi Camille also a strong pick, eh, especially with the grass of the undying Camille on the top lane. Really good, especially versus bruisers and tanks on the top lane. Yeah, and Camille getting banned out means, I think it actually helps the purpose of MCL over here, considering yeah. that their Ash is a low mobility character, and we have to make sure that even if low ang mobility neto ni Ash, he or she will still be safe in team fights. And getting that Brom, getting that Galio are two steps already to ensure the safety of their AD carry. At nadagdagam panga ng Camille ban. Camille, alam naman natin, Hextech Ultimatum, mm -hmm. one of the best tools to just isolate carries. But we are entering the second picking phase of this game. Wala pang uh, jungler ang Warlocks Laguna. And we are looking at the Sejuani. I think they're going all out Freljord over here, Dash. So, nakita nga natin yung Olaf ban. Uh, kinda expected the Sejuani pick there. Sejuani, a lot of CC. Frail Yord na naman. We're seeing a Frail Yord deck on Warlock's side. Yun na tayo ang gusto nila mangyari dito, no? Ano kaya ang may um, gagawin ng LG with this? And as of now, we are looking at a top lane Renekton. Most likely, this will be going to the top lane. And Renekton, one of those champions that are really good in bullying other champions in the lane. Alam naman natin that the slice dice to the Call of the Me combo, one of the most uh, oppressing combos in the top lane. And ako mismo, if I play a Kali or anybody in the top lane, I hate going up against Renekton. It's just so hard to keep up. And speaking of hard things, we are seeing an ice pillar for the last pick of LG. It's gonna be Trundle. And he will not be going to the jungle, or maybe he will. That's a Trundle yeah. jungle. Yeah, Trundle in the jungle, especially versus Se Se Sejuani, is actually really strong. Dial against the ultimate, uh, gonna suck out all, all those resistances from Sejuani and tank it out. Top lane, more the Kaiser here, Laban K. Renekton. Really <laughs> And this is the classic Pandora pick. Mm -hmm. We've seen Pandora play Mori Kaiser several times already ever since he's, he debuted with uh, Warlocks. 
in this roster but looks like Stellar will be playing this Morde instead. Pe, oh. Medyo nagmi-mix up sila dito. But for the side of LG Dash, let's talk about a, let's talk about their composition a little bit. This trundle against a Mordekaiser, the mechanic over there stealing stats from each <laughs> other. Can you talk more about this mechanic, this interaction? Okay, so the difference is Shundal steals a lot of persistences from the members of, especially sa Warlocks. Like, naman natin, the Warlocks has a lot of tanky members, steals the resistance, steals the health. Also, Stellar here, we're gonna see him steal some stats, most likely, dun sa mga carries. But I think I won't spec to the top, uh, to the mid lane. We'll spec to the top lane. And we're seeing here, uh, yun nga. Yep. And let's talk about the players a little bit. So, as for the record, this is going to be MCL's first game in Alliance League. Meanwhile, for LG Esports, it's going to be their second game already in Alliance League. We are in Week 2. In Week 1, naglaro sila where they lost to FEUIT. And just so we're clear, one of the players here in LG, ngayon palang maglalaro in Alliance League. And it's... Practically their star player, uh, Yobel. Si Yobel ngayon pa lang siya maglalaro ng Alliance League. So last week na natalos na sa FIT, they weren't in full force. Ano kayang magagawa ng LG ngayon? Now they're in full force with Yobel in the mid lane. Meanwhile, for Warlocks, will they have a successful debut game? <laughs> It's their first game of the week nga naman. Kasi last week nga hindi sila nakalaro. Yobel being here, probably a big uh, strength. Uh, ano tawag dun? Pag increase ng strength with LG oh, yeah. dito. Boost talaga siya. Yun nga. Uh, Parang boost camp lang. Totally na rin yung AA flag. <laughs> Mapapa boost ka lang talaga once you get your star player back. But speaking of boosting, feeling ko may kailangan tayong tignan. It's gonna be the star of the show once yeah. again. It's hedgehog time. It's shamey time. Ano kayang magiging predictions? Ay, prediction, tama, ng ating favorite animal in Alliance League. Ooh. Mmm, yun nga, medyo spicy dito, Dash. <laughs> Hindi pa natin nakikita kung si Shamey yeah, nga. I think this go. is gonna be Shamey. Yeah, Saan Shamey kaya here. siya pupunta dito? Oh! Wait, inaamoy niya lang pala yung sa LG. I thought he's gonna pick LG already. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay, okay. Lumalapit siya dito sa LG oh. stand. And he will be transferring over sa MCL. Mukhang mid-game. Lilipat hmm. ang power spike dito sa oh. MCL based on Shamey's prediction. But he will immediately turn back to LG Esports. Looks like back and forth. Ang laban oh. natin mabaya. Pinasok na niya. Pinasok niya. Is this an actual commit What's though? Hindi pa, hindi pa ata. Medyo oh. nilalaro-laro pa niya. Hindi pa LG ang kanyang final pick, Dash. Yeah. Eh, hinahanap niya pa. Actually, pinipil niya pa from, ewan ko ano yung pinipil niya sa ilalim, pero pinipil niya at the bottom side kung ano ang ang prediction niya. I think there's a bit of pooping going on. Oh no, oh no, oh no. I, I feeling ko, uh, <laughs> yan ang ano natin, ang highlight of the night. Shamey pooping on the predictions. Is this even legal? Is this even... Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know. I have no words, but I'm not disappointed. Maybe <laughs> this is Shamey telling us a message. Maybe okay. this is the prediction. Yeah, actually pooping on the side of MCL. Maybe a bit of a prediction. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this, is, I think this is a commit dash. Yeah, I think commit na nga siya sa LG Esports. His head is stuck on there. Can she yeah, go oh, out? May, oh, can, are we gonna get some help? From our admin over here, maybe I think he will be getting out himself. Oh, That's what you no want. Shamey, independent, <laughs> pooping, cute animal, the mascot of EAA. What a cute uh, hedgehog. I'm quite surprised. But LG will be the prediction of Shamey. And Shamey yeah. has 100%. Let me get this straight 100% prediction uh, in term. Prediction win Last rate. Week. Right, last week, last, last week it was a 100% prediction. Last, yung last game actually, yung sa UST versus how nung na default is actually a turn. Ano tawag dun? Binagsak niya rin yung ano eh, yung yung tubigan before. Baka maybe this will be again a stomp on the side of oh. LG based on what he, our hedgehog Shamey has said. Oh, wow. Who knows? Who knows? But Shamey, the prophet himself or herself has already chosen LG Esports to win this first matchup. But I'm quite sure that Malayan Warlocks won't be 
agreeing to what Shami just did a while yeah. ago. Siyempre, gugustuhin nila na lumaban for, the, for, for their first win in Alliance League. Yeah, and we're seeing, kita nga natin ganina sa composition ng Warlocks. They won't actually want LG to just win. They just uh, have a lot of CC, a lot of engages with their composition, and a lot of utilities talaga. Kaya I think they'll just lock down LG with uh, yep. dun sa win na hinahanap nila. Oh, yeah. And speaking of LG win or MCL win, feeling ko oras na rin para sa mga fans natin dyan, sa mga viewers from their respective schools, o kung hindi ka man taga MCL, o hindi ka man taga Admo, but you know, you have a friend over there, o gusto nyong manalo ang isang kuponan natin dito, make sure to go to the chat right now, type in your hashtag MCL win, or hashtag LG win. LG win. I yeah. think uh, it's the correct, it's not hashtag Admo win. Remember, you, your hashtag should be correct. It's gonna be hashtag LG win and hashtag, let me just check just to be M-W-N. sure. MWL win. MWL win. MWL win. So that's hashtag MWL win and hashtag LG win. Make sure to join our chat rally to support your favorite collegiate team. Yeah, yun nga, no? Uh, support our teams. Uh, also use the hashtag globe prepaid virtual hangouts in the chat while using the hashtag LGWIN or hashtag MWLWIN just to secure that uh, win. Yeah, and alam naman natin that uh, the fans, they give a lot of support for their teams and it means a lot for our players. I mean, if you talk to the players, having that support from their fans are just really great for them. It makes them feel spirited, makes them want to play better. And when the players play better, we have a better show to cast and there is a better game for the viewers to watch. So make sure to play your part, make sure to support your team. It's one of the best ways that you can make sure that campus esports in the Philippines continue to thrive and continue to grow around the Philippines and if you want to grow your campus esports inside your university make sure to visit our website www.akanarena.com it's the, the information out there is outstanding make sure to just go to their about page ang daming pwedeng matutunan and if wala pang esports sa loob ng university nyo head on to Akan Arena's page send us a message and of course sasagutin kayo ng Akan Arena yeah, and as I'm seeing in the chat ngayon, I've, I've just checked a lot of LG win. A lot of Admo supporters, to be honest. So, sobrang high barrel na siguro ng LG Esports ngayon because they're seeing in the chat. Okay, we're just going in to the Summoner's Rep MCL versus LG Esports Admo. Yeah, excited, excited na rin ako para makita ko ano bang mangyayari sa ating first Ooh. game. And it's already looking to be a spicy one. Pero medyo na bubulag ako dito sa Ocean Drake natin dito sir pero mamaya pa yan masyado tayong excited para sa mga objective <laughs> fights and that's one of the things that I'm looking forward to as well Dash the fights mm-hmm. for the objectives alam naman natin that Julie one of those junglers really keen on taking those objectives yeah and as, our, as we're seeing this composition here uh, let's just take a look feel go MWL Malayan Warlocks won't have a lot of damage in the late game compared to what Admo could put up with this draft. Yeah, I think they just need to push on with those early fights talaga, early in the game. And secure all those skills, right? Yeah, and I just have to say that Renek in the top lane, may moral responsibility ka as a jungler. Yeah. Na daanan yan. Because you don't draft a Renekton planning to just make him farm. You draft a Renekton to make sure that he wins his lane and the Renekton wins you your game. And yeah. you have a Zoe, you have a Trundle, there's a lot of tools to get yeah. ahead in that top lane. And of course, that Mordekaiser, Death Realm lang ang pinaka pang counter niya dyan. Yeah, actually. And it's a big cooldown dash, napakatagal ng cooldown ng Death Realm ng early levels. So yeah. one Death Realm, the, mer- the moment it's burnt down, just go for it. I, I, that's, I think that's the call. But let's wait. Kung anong gagawin ng LG with this Renekton in the top lane. Yeah, as also looking at that LG can dish out a lot of damage. Nga, pero I um, think they're a bit lacking on the CC part of what's happening. Because they only have a pillar. They have stun and also the sleepy trouble bubble. Just mm-hmm. a bit of single target CCs. Not like the AOE ones that MCL can dish out. But they have damage compared to MCL talaga. Yeah, pero 
Yeah. Pero papano lala pagandamin siya yun kung hindi kayo makagalaw with all the yeah. the frail Jordan spells na nakikita natin dito. Not only do you have the claw coming in from the Morde, but the glacial fissure, the enchanted crystal arrow. There's so many things na mapweding mapupunta sa in skirmishes and team fights for MCL mainly yeah. because they have the CC to pull the trigger. Yeah. And they have a lot of them that they can dish out now. Oh, nga naman. Kung hindi ka nga naman ang galaw, you can't dish out any damage talaga. Oh, pa- <laughs> yeah, wala ka rin panalo. <laughs> oh, wala rin bawe. Pero yeah. spe- good point din yung nasabi mo kanina Dash that they do have the damage. And I do believe that they do have the superior range. So, yeah. paano mo malalapag yung CC mo if hindi ka rin naman makalapit? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's kind of like rock, paper, scissors yeah. but a little bit more complicated than that. Yeah. A lot of folks, kasi tong side ni LG Sports with Zoe and as with a lot of folks from Mystic Shot to the Paddle Star, stay in trouble bubble from far away ranges. Uh, if half of the map, if they can do it, actually. Yeah, and of course Galio, one of those champions as well who can just ulti to another lane in case yun nga may mangyaring dive na magaganap. So I think this is pretty smart coming in from Stellar. Stellar, one of the Senior, senior yeah, players, super senior, super senior <laughs> players in in campus esports right now. Yeah. One of the oldest as well, and that just goes to show that his experience is the one that tempers MCL in what they do, what they pick. And let's see if yung utak na yon ay eh, parang mama mind share niya. Ano may ganun ba parang yung sa <laughs> I, I think at one part sa Naruto to yung kinonek ni Ino lahat ng utak nila tapos ah, right. yung parang malay exactly. mo may ganun pa lang jutsu to si may, may forbidden jutsu pala to <laughs> si Stellar no. Si Stellar. <laughs> oh, we're seeing the mid lane. Oh, pero after shock mababawasan ng konti ang damage but sleepy trouble bubble. Ito ning sinasabi ko sa iyo kanina, walang magic resist, magic resist diyan, chong. Yeah. Medyo masakit talaga. True damage nga na magyan na dish out after the sleepy trouble bubble. But the star, sobrang sakit talaga on the side of this Zoe, which actually medyo advantage sa kanya yung fight sa mid lane. Especially uh, with the cor- corrupting potion pala. Oh, top yeah. lane. Top lane, medyo konting trade lang. Mga kiliti yan sa top lane. Alam naman natin that <laughs> Classic. Sa, maraming ganun sa top lane eh, para medyo tinatamad lang sila mag all in. That they would just want to hurt each other ng konti lang. Tapos babalik din sila sa pagsisiis. <laughs> Bit of there. And we si see kanina Takeshima going to the mid lane just to get chunk down to super low HDs. We're seeing also Trundle on that side. A little bit of skirmish. Hindi lang nakita na all server natin kanina. Yeah, and as of now, we're we are five minutes inside this game. Still no first blood. Excited na ako eh. Parang medyo careful. Ma- masyadong careful ang parehas na teams dito para hindi magbigay ng early lead. And makikita natin yan sa gold score right now. 200, 100, yun lang ang lamang. And that's how you know that both teams are tempered to a certain playstyle. A certain something that binds them together and yeah. parehas sila ng mga iniisip. Because usually in solo queue, kaya tayo marami nakikitang mga kills agad. Dahil may mga sariling mundo. Yeah. Gusto mag-agree ng isa, tas kartos yung jungle mo. Eh, <laughs> hindi talaga, ma- hindi talaga magkakasundo ng ganon. Yeah. Actually, very methodical nga yung ginagawa ng LG at MCL ngayon. Kasi they're just farming up. Just like what we see on LCK games, you're just farming up, getting their damage, getting their items. Tsaka sila siguro mag-fight after getting level 6 with this Galio. So yeah. that they can just rotate anywhere. And feeling ko this Galio will be used at more more defensive manner. Pakiramdam ko, etong Galio natin in the mid lane won't be engaging as much as he will be defending. But for MWL, for Mo- for the Warlocks over here, they're already sneaking out the Ocean Drake. And top lane, mukhang walang idea ang LG sa nangyayari. Kellogg, nakaamoy ng konti. Okay, nakita natin Kellogg puts in a ward. But still, Ocean Drake. Really great advantage, especially sa composition ng Malayan Warlocks ngayon with two, a lot of tanks. This will help them get the sustain that they need. Yeah, and not only the sustain, but the overall, ito yun eh, parang kung isipin mo, okay na napunta sa kanila. Yeah. But for me in this regard, mas okay na hindi napunta sa ad mo. Because for MCL, 
if they poke, tas na region din lang, it's gonna oh. be hard for them. Yeah, so, yeah. mas okay na nakuha nila. But yeah. LG, I know they wanted that one. Yeah, a little bit of aggression sa top lane. Uh, Takeshima just being aggressive here on the top lane. I actually, Julie was the one who countered gang. There's a death realm. No, oh, death realm dito tinawag sa top lane. Pero merong tore para protectan siya dito. The call of the meek won't be landing. Actually, will land on two. Will heal France for a lot of HP, and he will be slicing and dicing away as no kill will still happen in the top lane. Teleports are burned though. Yeah, teleports have been burned and used. Seeing here top lane talaga France Renekton has a lot of sustain with that Call of the Meek, right? Mm -hmm. uh, with that Q from him and also the Conqueror popping out. Oh, Thunder Enchanted Zero. Crystal Arrow on the AD carry as the ship is there, but Ignite is sticking down. Ooh. Babagsak ba dito si Brom? No, he won't. The stun will be landing on Kellogg instead. And one oh. more auto attack could have sealed the deal, pero hindi matatama. And Hakao with uh, a Mystic Shot and then the first blood teleport will be burned for friends, but it's just too much. Oh, here we go, seeing the replay nga naman. Kellogg, just a sliver of health. Med medyo 1 HP yata. Lunar was trying to back away, but Hindi talaga eh. hindi hindi niya kaya mag back away na doon. Medyo na hiwalay tong si Ash at si Lunar. Kaya yun. Eh, tela mo to si Franz. Teleport sa bot lane, walang nakuha. Lakad ng mid lane. Sige, haharasin ko na lang bago pumalit na top lane. I just had to give it to them. Wala na akong magagawa eh. Oh, nga. Uh, they're seeing there nga naman uh, sa mid lane. <laughs> Nawadaan lang talaga tong si Franz because the teleport ah oh, wasted but still worth it they get a oh. kill in the bot lane. Oh, so medyo nanigurado lang. Wala namang masama sa paninigurado. Pero slice oh. dice nga dito. Julie is there as well. Death Realm, not yet available. This might be huge. The Subjugate is there. At lumambot na nga si Mordekaiser. And the steal, will it be enough? Flash kagat, sampal. Kineyes pa nga ng Call of the Meek. I mean, imagine mo, biner na ng flash ng Trandel. <laughs> Kinal mo pa. Pero sige, Renekton getting that one kill in the top lane. Giving the objective daw sa top laners. Getting the kills. Kailangan daw kasi ngayon, they burn the flash, but it's worth it. They'll probably get, oh, I can see the HP, but I, they'll probably get some plates dito sa top lane. Kaya, worth it na rin, sasabihin siguro ni Trundle, kay France dito. Oh, worth it na rin, at pabagsakan ng Rip Herald dito sa top lane. So that means they will get bonus two more uh, two more plates in that top lane. And I think they're already about to Ooh. get, uh, sabihin na natin, assume that it's gonna be minus three. And Pandora will be protected by an almost non-existent turret dahil hindi pa na natin nakikita pero sa minimap kita naman pala ata natin na harangan lang ng konti ng Mordekaiser icon right? but in the mid lane taunt will land on Zoe and oh! Takishima with a bonus glacial bola as well pero hindi niya matatamaan with the paddle star and they will not be able to kill this Zoe very slippery champion indeed sabi nga, nga sabi nga naman natin si Yobel is a really strong mid laner with that cleanse Yung timing ng cleanse niya was really perfect with that flash then I think nakuha niya yung flash somewhere. <laughs> hindi, hindi yung flash niya yung burn eh. Kaya Yobel, really strong in the mid lane, gets the advantage then with that uh, minions. Yeah, and I just have to say that cleanse cooldown is a little bit higher than Ignite. So, pero Ignite has a low cooldown kasi. That, that means yung cooldown ng cleanse na to, mas matagal kaysa sa ultimate ni Sejuani. So Sejuani still has the chance to go back to that mid lane, try yeah. to get another gank on you, Bell, and maybe at this time, wala nang taka si, si Zoe. But mm -hmm. tingnan natin if they will up the pace. Because as of now, I'm seeing that Admu is the one taking... Ta si kumbaga sa sayaw, MCL ang sumusunod ngayon sa LG. Yeah, really slippery. Talaga yung si, Yo si Yo Bell here. But we're seeing here sa bottom lane, they're just getting the vision on the bot lane kasi Dragon will be coming up in about 60 seconds most likely kaya ayun we're seeing them getting the Rift Herald getting the vision on the bottom lane yan nakikita naman natin si LG Hakao dito sa ating uh, portrait Ooh. may hawak pa nga ang show pao eh, medyo <laughs> nakakagutom yun pero mamaya na tayo kumain campus esports action muna tayo dito let's look at the CS lead a little bit in the mid lane we all know that 
range advantage is a lot uh, is a big thing in mid lane but 20 cs enchanted crystal arrow missing this might be big for lg the ccs are missing but the ultimate is there as well hakao getting kill on lunar pero tingnan mo yung ash nandun lang sa backline fumi free hit as friends will be trying to get one will si yobe lang tatapos ng isa the dragon is just there chilling julie tanking a lot of damage from this dragon at mag isa na lang siya dito walang flash ang trundle and this might be a freebie for the mordekaiser as pandora will secure that one si juani will be the second as Hakao will pick up the killing spree and this looks to be the double kill for the Ezreal Hakao goes big and that's gonna be LG winning the fight and taking the dragon as well Nakita nga natin dito with the heroes engine Isa lang yun na knock up to be honest There's the con coming in Pero talaga yun nga sinasabi natin Skull won't have a lot of damage here Early in the game pa nga naman And also Pandora seeing here Julie Nakita nga natin on the back side Seeing it Seeing him on the back side now, right? Ooh, and there you go. There's a little bit of damage coming in from Morty guys. But it's not really enough. Sabi yeah. nga natin kanina, as we predicted, they won't have a lot of damage on this extended fights. Compared to LG. Even if LG won that fight, na natawa lang ako dun sa Julie moment natin dun eh. <laughs> sa saktong chill lang siya dun, sinasampal pa rin yung dragon. The whole team fight, sobrang intense na bro. Hakao was essence shifting, mystic shotting at the backlight, tapos nag-free hit pa si Skull. Nandun lang si Trandil sa Nicole, pang, bonk, bonk, bonk. <laughs> Solid play though. Still won them the team fight. I think it's a good Thing rin kay Trundle doing that na wala sa kanya yung, yung ano tawag dito, yung focus they weren't looking at him during that fight I think the neutral pa nga siya ni Pandora uh, nung nakita siya dun sinasapak-sapak niya lang yung dragon kaya, ano kaya ginagawa nito? kaya the neutral niya na lang oh, the neutral niya, pero hindi pa rin napunta <laughs> sa MCL, yung Earth Drake na yun so solid play coming in from LG I think that, sobrang taas ang IQ di ko na naintindihan yeah. it's like a 200 IQ call na splinit nila yon yung yeah. buong team nagta-turn tapos nagsisneak ng dragon si Julie <laughs> but again whatever works right it does yeah. look wacky but it did work towards the favor of LG and now we are looking at a 4k gold lead early on in this game 4k gold league and we're seeing also Zoe picking up that Ludens Echo early in this game 2-0 pa lang siya 14 minutes Ludens Echo versus Agalia with just a Hextech Revolver that's really big Damn Ay, meron pa. May Chad item pa. Si oh, Zoe. Right. Binili na niya the ultimate Chad okay. item. The Medjay Soul Stealer. Ilang souls kaya ang oh, mas steal niya no. dito. Oh, That's no, quite Kellogg. confident of them. Kellogg will be forced to burn his flash. Oh. But the arrow! Oh, the no, fancy no. feet! Kellogg! All of the ults missing. Easy oh. burn. Easy clap. Damn, Kellogg with that slippery play, right? They're just running around. Wala mala tumamang kahit slow. Kay Kellogg, you're really solid. Sayang yung commitment ng, M ng Warlocks, but Kellogg, really great play. Man, imagine dodging three ultimates. Top kick moment of the week. Predator Alliance League highlights for sure. But <laughs> let's go back to this game for now. 5k gold lead for the side of Admu. And MCL still looking for their Ash to scale. Skull kind of need to <laughs> yeah, ramp right. up the pace a little bit over here. Sayang yung mga opportunities like that one na hindi tumatama yung Enchanted Crystal Arrow. Yeah, he has a lot of big muscular people protecting his side. Yeah, I think he just need to deal some damage. Yun yung kanyang siguro ambag nga naman oh, na magagawa for his team. Yeah, I think they're just waiting for him to pick that Ruin King to that Ruin and Surikin siguro before he can dish out that damage. And feeling ko rin yun na antay nilang makabuild ng konti pang stats to si Mordekaiser because yeah. Mordekaiser, one of those champions that if you're behind, you're not gonna have that much fun. Yeah. Super not having fun. One, two on the top lane. But may proto belt na siya, I think. Better yeah. than what Renekton has right now. Definitely. But the moment na matapos ng Renekton na to, yung Blade of the Ruined King niya, it's gonna oh. be hard for anyone to not only escape this Renekton, but to immediately. Kumbaga masabayan yung damage niya. It's gonna be hard, mainly because a Blade of the Ruin King Renekton just allows Renekton to not only slice and dice, but yep. also steal movement speed away. And considering that Skull doesn't have a lot of dashes to begin with, mm -hmm. unlike you, na pangalam mo palang dash na. Exactly. <laughs> May <hirapan. laughs>
<laughs> exactly. Also, Ruined King on this composition na meron yung M- uh, Malayan Warlocks, really effective. A lot of healthy people, to be honest. Yeah, he will be chunking down on those members, especially with that Conqueror also sustaining versus all this stuff. Actually, if you were a Renekton player before, you would want a lot of tanks na kalaban kasi they won't dish out a lot of damage. You can oh, just soak them. Right, and, and the Conqueror. And not only that, yung kasabay ng Renekton ultimate, the Dominus effect plus the rage, yeah. the more you stay in battle, the stronger you get. So, yeah. yun nga, sinabi mo na, Renekton would want to have a lot of tanks. Yeah. We're seeing here a little bit of Skirmish, the mid lane, and also they're trying to get this dragon. Uh, LG has a lot of map control on that side, but yeah. uh, Warlocks want to contest this dragon. Yeah, Admu already trying to establish presence over here. Mm-hmm. Pero ano ko yung gagawin ng MCL dito to go back and get this dragon for them? Yeah, to be honest, hindi ito yung gusto kong pwestuhan for Warlock. Oh, but, but that's gonna be the stun landing on Hakao. And Hakao has to flash away. Nandito na rin si Galio and Stella. We're gonna kill on Kellogg. Instead, the flash coming in from Stella. Stella, massive kill. A shutdown for the Ash. And look at this. It looks like Julie will be trying to walk away from the death ramp. Pero it's si Renekton as well. France already low in HP. And that's a double kill for the Ash. And Julie will be trying to run away from this morning. Kind of, but he gets pulled back. And Julie, they was in your MQ. The Mace of Space won't land. The, your, the duo coming in from MCL actually no duo coming in from LG. Yo, Ben already trying to poke down the dragon. Will he get a kill? Massive battle star on Skull. Will it be enough though? Five more people alive and the replay. Dash, come on and get it. Yeah, so, nakita nga natin sa replay na to. Kakasabi ko nga lang, Stellar goes in with the ultimate to the flash of backline, which li- live left. Sorry, left. Uh, LG with no ADC. Yeah, sobrang nahirapan sila with dishing out that damage. But Julie here and Yobel still alive will not matter because they can get the dragon here. Yeah, and the dragon going towards the MCL squad is a huge dragon for them to take. Mainly because they have a, a composition that requires to have a lot of ultimates up. You have Lunar on this Brom, Skull on this Ash. All of them have massive ultimates and yeah. most of them have high cooldowns so having this cloud drake on their hands will only benefit their composition at hindi ko nabanggit lahat pala ng champions nila high cooldown on their ultimates yeah and also as we were saying a while ago we were just waiting for M- the warlocks to pull that trigger kasi yun talaga yung kailangan nila they just need to get those clash they, kasi pag pinok sila ng LG with those long range champions, they would be at a disadvantage. That's why they just pull the trigger, go in with the flash, and that will get them a win almost all the fights yeah. here, diba? And I think we have to point out that Stellar was massive in that yeah. fight. Yes, right. the positioning from Skull was great, but Stellar setting up with a heroic entrance, then a flash into Yobel with actually, I'm, I'm not quite sure kung sino ba kay Hakao. Flash yeah, yeah. in, and then the taunt. Let me remind the viewers over here, you can't do flash taunt and taunt flash anymore. Right, right. So flash taunt actually requires you to think ahead. Mm-hmm. And Stellar was actually super great in that fight. Na inisip na niya na doon dadaan, he went all in, flash mm-hmm. with the taunt, securing the team fight win for for MCL at that fight. Yeah, so nakita nga natin doon with uh, what happened there. Uh, uh, let's t- take a t- gold lead naman ngayon. Kasi we're seeing a 4k gold lead kanina. After that fight, still a 4k gold lead. Uh, probably because of the CS advantage of the members. And also, a bit of a kill advantage for some of the members ng Admu. Yeah, and they also do have the third Drake already. And it's going to be Cloud Drakes for the rest of the game. So, antayin na lang natin kung... Ano pang mangyayari in these fights? But as of now, I think this is another calm before the storm. Baron is already up and Dragon will be up several minutes from now. Baron looks to be the next contested objective as both teams are trying to pr- pressure the vision over there. Just put placing down wards, making sure that they have advantage over the top side of the map. Yeah, we're seeing them again. Whoa, what? The hero's entrance to save his life or probably to just displace a bit there. I don't know if that's wasted. That's a lot of cooldown, though, from Stellar side. Mm, yeah, I, I do have to agree. Medyo nasayang yon, but I think he was playing it safe because Baron was there and walas yung outer turret. So I think it was the right call, not 
completely the best one, but it was the right call. Better safe than dead. Yeah. And still, he has a teleport anyway, so I think he can just rotate to the map. And they're, I think they're not seeing a fight here. Pa. Even though the Baron is still there, they're just warding it up. Kaya he has time to get that cooldown. Yeah, and as of now, we are looking. Sinabi ko nga kanina that it is the calm before the storm. Wala pa masyadong objectives. And both teams are quite aware na hindi mo pa naman kailangan makipagbakbakan. Bakit ka makikipagbakbakan kung wala pang premyo? Wala pang dragon. And Baron looks to be very risky. Both teams are quite calculated right now. We are 22 minutes in. Pero wala pang bumabagsak na tore for the side of MCL. And this is gonna be huge. You don't want this. You would want at least one turret down at this point of the game para meron kang added map presence. Especially if you're yeah. running a composition like this Ooh. that can pull the trigger anytime they Ooh. want. And will they pull it now? Speaking of pull, na pull na dito si Juliet. Papasukin na nga niya. But this looks to be a fight that MCL does not want to take as they walk away. <laughs> Almost a fight was there. The third skill from Pandoro hit. Pero hindi. They don't have as much damage. They just have the tanks here on the bottom lane. Kaya, uh, the fight didn't happen there. And medyo uh, chad item talaga ang medyo soul stealer. Pero wala yeah. pang stacks. Oh, right. And this is why I discourage a lot of people to buy this in competitive <laughs> games because you don't get to have its value unless you're quite sure na makakakuha ka ng mga dagdag na pickup kills. But Speaking na hindi ako si Yobel at tumama na ang Enchanted Crystal Arrow plus the ultimate from Sejuani as well. The Death Rim will not be called as of now pero ayun na nga, tinawag na niya. 1v1, Julie versus Lunar pero Yobel already on killing spree after they got that Sejuani pero si Kelo on the backside. Lunar, low HP, mapaflashan siya dito and the ultimate coming in from the Galio hindi ata matutuloy, makakancel ng Renekton as Pandora will be flashing away. May isa pang flash dito si Yobel. Mukhang fineflexan na lang niya. Hindi ito tama ang Sleepy Trouble Bubble but LG will be zoning out this dragon and taking it for themselves lg winning that fight not that clean but winning it nonetheless yeah what what i saw there the best one that i saw franz here on the back side just assassinating most of the members from mwl yeah franz what a great positioning and a great teleport uh coming in from him yeah and let me just uh, point this out as well. The Galio had his ult up siguro kalagitnaan na ng fight. Yeah, so it was way. kinda late. Pero ang nakakatawa doon, hindi kinansel lang Renekton. Kinansel, hindi niya kinansel through a stun. Kinansel niya pinatay niya. Papano yeah. makakapag ulti kung patay ka na? Pero look at LG. This is quite a ballsy call. Super risky as the Proto Bell will burn a lot of them. Yan na nga, namatay na ang isa. As the Sejuani will take one and Julie will be the next victim. It's gonna be a barren mess for LG as they feed it. They spoon feed MCL the Baron. What went wrong there was two members are super low on HP. Franz and Julie risking that Baron, tanking it up. Pero hindi nila alam na dito na yung Malayan Warlocks going in. Wala lang. Parang dineposit lang nila sa... sa dineposit nila, then binidraw ng Malayan Warlocks. Wala. Man, they won the fight before that. They went to the Baron <laughs> thinking that they had enough time. And then immediately MCL just went by and... Thanks for the Baron, boys! <laughs> <laughs> Unless... <laughs> And now, looking at this Baron, still, we're seeing a 3k gold lead on the side of LG, probably because of the fight before. And a really good boost, talaga tong Dragon, para makakuha na ng, ng towers tong MCL. Wala pa sila yeah. And there you go, they're getting towers from all sides. Yeah, and this is the power of the Baron buff na pinamigay dang <laughs> na LG. And as much as I don't want to be hard on LG, yeah, MCL, sorry, LG. MCL just had. Actually, it's not even a correct call. It was a misplay coming in from LG that gave MCL this lead. That there's the small power spike that they're enjoying yeah. right now. But the real question persists, uh, Dash. Anong gagawin ng MCL in this small advantage na nabigay ng Admu? Because Admu, they did make, they do make mistakes. But the moment yeah. that they stop making those Ooh. mistakes, ano nang gagawin ng MCL? Yeah, yun nga, nakita natin. MCL went into the top, to the bot lane, got some towers, and probably they don't want this tower in the mid lane. They have ba they have buff advantage and whatever else. They have also the vision on the uh, river side. Yeah, probably gonna take this fight on the mid lane. 
Na I think they need to defend this as much as they can kasi yung advantage nila talaga kanina is yeah. that all of the outer turrets for the side of MCL are already gone. And if yeah. they don't surrender this outer turret in the mid lane, it's going to be way better for them. Walang access point ang MCL in their jungle na hindi nila makikita. But look at this in the bot lane. Death Realm is called and this like this is going to be the 1v1 at magiging 3v1 to paggising ni Pandora at hindi magiging sapatang oras. Nabuksan na ba ang Pandora's box? Mamamatay na ba siya dito? The he goes golden at hindi siya mababa maliligtas dito ng kanyang Zonyas as the Zoe will just shut him down as the tenth soul of that Magi Soul Stealer will be Mordekaiser. Yeah, it was trying to get it was trying to get value yung sa Baron buff niya. Actually, it was really good for him to be the bait on the bottom lane just for them to get that tower at the top lane at the middle lane. Sabi mo nga, now MCL has some access points sa side ng LG. Yeah, and not only just access points, kinalbo pala nila yung top lane. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty big. Considering na napamigay yung Baron, tapos nakuha pa yung top lane. So this is a hole na ginawa na na sarili ng LG. Let's switch the narrative a little bit. Now that there's a hole, now na lamang na sa turrets ang MCL, what will LG do? The dragons are quite equal. The gold, a little bit close. Yeah. One team fight could definitely change this. Yeah, and we're not seeing the dragon still. 60 seconds in the dragon gap. Probably, may kita natin a little bit of map control. Nahahanapin ng MCL here. Probably gonna push the bottom lane and get some vision on the dragon side. Yeah, and this is beginning to be a scary Zoe. 14 stacks on oh, this Medja no. Soul Stealer. <laughs> and the more times na nakaka-pick off ang Admo, even if they don't win those team fights, as long as Yobel doesn't die, yeah. eventually Yobel could carry this game. But for now, I think what LG should do is to secure a team fight win. Just yeah. one. They don't have to win th th that yeah. one next team fight because if they give up the next team fight to MCL, the I think babalik tad sobra yung gold trend natin dito. And MCL will begin to win more team fights with a higher percentage of winning. Ooh. And now we're seeing here uh LG really wants to get this dragon. At least probably a fight nga yung hinahanap nila dito sa bottom lane seeing that Franz has his TP. He can just uh segue sa top lane for a bit and probably uh what do you call this? Um, backstab. <laughs> oh, <laughs> feel, feeling ko, friends will be trying to split yeah. push a little yeah. bit in the top lane and eventually flank the yeah. bottom lane as well. Considering that they do have ward set up over there, so tayo na lang natin kano bang call ng LG dito. But the dragon is slowly falling towards the hands Ooh. of Ooh. nobody yet. Half HP dito. The ultimate gold man coming in from MCL and this is goes Pandora goes golden at hindi siya mabubuhay dito siguro makakatakas siya with the death realm pero si Franz ang hinamon niya at mapapatay siya ni Franz and this is gonna be Stellar not being able to knock up a lot of people no actually Todd and speaking of knock up Great Pillar coming in from the Trundle forces to flash out away and oh. Franz biglang buhay with the shields and the heals uh. and looks like LG will win that fight with a triple kill for Zoe to cap it off as we were talking about it we're gonna see Franz flank Nakita nga natin siya nag-flunk, he dealt a lot of damage, but we're seeing here, Hero's entrance from Stellar was massive. But he does not deal a lot of damage like how Franz was doing it in the back line nga doon, nakikita natin. Goes Golden and also deals a lot of damage, a lot of sustain compared to what Stellar was doing on the back line. And I think props to Franz, he won this fight for them. Yeah, and not only that, Yobel already maximum stacks on the chaddest item of all. That Medjay Soul Stealer at hindi pa to umuwi. Pagka uwi niyan, bibili pa yun ng bagong cap. Sala sabihin mo, salamat LG. Online shopping, walang vat-vat. Diretso, Rabadon's death cap yan pagka uwi. Oh no, too much damage na coming in from Yobel. Ah, hindi ko siguro na pansin kanina, but Yobel was hitting all those paddle stars kanina. He was dealing so much damage na, I think, from far away. Hindi napansin ng Malayan Warlocks that the threat was actually Yobel on the backside. Yeah, and now they're quite aware this 25 stack Medja is a big signboard telling me, please oh, kill no. me! Oh, please no. try to kill me, boys! <laughs> Get me if you can, the damage will be real. And may hihirapan nga ang MCL to killing this Zoe. How do you even kill someone that you can't even get close to? Yeah, I was... I actually was wanting to see uh, Yobel die a bit here. Because if you can just stack Medjay, he can just stack 
the Medjay. Ayun, bibili pa ako na isang Medjay para lang pakita sa MCL na please. Please do do me a favor and kill me and shut get the shutdown gold. Para naman magkaroon kayo ng advantage sa gold earn. Man, pure confidence coming in from Yobel over here. I'm telling you. Second item Medjay. Pero ito, second baron ba to ng MCL? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll just say that I'm going to be able to win. But I'm seeing Julie and Franz are now healthy compared to earlier. And they oh. did a lot of damage. Na. Pero tingnan natin, may may maliit oh, na chance. No. Magkakaroon ba ng Baron still dito? Pandora oh. trying to find someone. They're already inside. Oh, and the Sejuani! Again! A Baron mess up coming in from LG. But they're trying to clean up after the mess. LG donating another Baron. Sabihin nyo, salamat LG sa chat. Salamat LG. Hashtag LG. We're gonna see again on this a uh, replay. I think naka death realm si Julie dito kaya hindi nakapag smite, nakapag flash si si Juani and gets that baron again donating again to MCL. Man, na donate na naman ng baron. It's like Admus <laughs> doing it on purpose, boys. <laughs> lamang na lamang na sila. This is 1907. It oh it so we pero napamigay na naman yung baron. <laughs> I think Sinasadya talaga ng LG to. They just want to give MCL that bit of an advantage sa side nila. Kaya, ewan ko, I think, para sa akin, sinasadya talaga nila to. Man, <laughs> sa Jaman o hindi, it's quite a miracle that Admo still winning this. Imagine giving away two Barons. So, not to put it hard on MCL, but you already have two Barons to work with. If they give you a third one and hindi pa to nababaliktad, <laughs> Then there's something yeah, wrong in the yeah, shot calling at this point. Yeah, man. I think I'm waiting for MCL just to get away with this Barons that they got. Like get some towers, get some advantage on the map. Probably get a dragon. Still that cloud soul, na man. Oh, I mean, total. Magaling na mang nakaw to si Takishima. Eh. Takishima <laughs> ninja magna nakaw. Ano pa bang pwede nating ilagay na tito lo dito kay Takishima? Pero yun nga. Uh, I think magiging spicy yung mic check natin dito. Imagine mo, oh, yung man. mic check natin next week dito, dalawang beses mananakawan ng Baron, pero labanan agad dito sa blue side ng jungle as Julie will be too tanky to deal with. Saktong tanky lang. If Chad yung item ni, jo ni Zoe, yeah. Chad mismo si Julie. Yeah, sobrang tank. I think wala silang na deal na damage. I think Julie just regenerated all those damage that came from MCL. Kaya, I think they need to prioritize their targets now, MCL. Yeah, and speaking of prioritizing their targets, kailangan nilang piliin o pilitin si Hakao ang tamaan. Because as of now, there's no way, entirely no way for Julie to die. Napakakunat ng trundle na yan. The moment he ulti oh, oh, spicy oh, bro. Why you gotta have to do that? The teleport is already falling down and that's gonna be the ultimate coming in from Galio. The teleports are real. Nandito na rin ang blue side. Full team. Franz already walking towards the side of oh, no. MCL. Mukhang meron makukuha dito si Julie ang unang target. The HP. The damage coming in from Juban. No kay Yobel. Ano ba yung club na yan? <laughs> FIT player si Joban. Dito na tayo. Pasok ulit tayo sa laban. LG Franz low on HP but he will walk away as Pandora looks to be centered around four people he will not die as of now hindi tumatama mga skill shots anong nangyayari LG LG Hakao getting a kill four people on MCL already low on HP isa lang masasabi ko Dash kung tumama yung skill shots ubus yan tumama nga yung skill shot kanina we're seeing your build just dealing a lot of damage but hindi enough Masyado mabilis mag-back away yung MCL kanina. Pandora was just there on the right time kasi he just death realm France. He didn't get the kill but he got killed himself. And there you go. Easy. Cloud Jake. Cloud Soul. Ay, hindi. Cloud Soul hindi pa. Nasa... Ay, oo nga. Cloud Soul na nga tayo. This is the fourth one. Cloud Soul. Mapupunta dito sa ad mo. And... Haha! Zoe on Cloud Soul. Top kick! Oh no! Hindi, hindi, hindi! Medyo kakaiba yung immobile kapag nag-uulti ka. Paano gagawin mo dun? Yun nga naman. Maybe he's gonna get that whatever Cloud Soul will give. So after using his ultimate, run away so fast. Yun lang siguro yung inaanap dito ni Yubel. But, Franz though, 
Renekton Dominus with yeah. Cloud Soul with oh, yeah. the Blade of the Ruined yeah. King. Sad Too time bad. for Ash. Alam mo, yeah. ito na yung mga oras na isip nila. Sana nag-Tumkens na lang ako. <laughs> <laughs> Sana nga nag-Tumkens na lang. Brom won't be able to deal with what brands will give dito pag Skull will just get jumped down. And we're, we're seeing again, 4K gold lead. Pabalik-balik lang tayo dun sa gold lead na binibigay ng Asmo dito. Solid ah, solid. MCL, they're not winning team fights. But look at this, yeah. the discipline. We're, they're still in this game. Yeah, absolutely. 4K gold lead. 27. This is bahay. this is quite this is quite amazing mm-hmm. coming in from MCL. They're not winning team fights but they're actually staying in this game. They're probably just winning objectives, winning some towers for themselves kaya and also some barons. Yeah. Oh, oh, pala okay. yung mga baron na pamigay. Pero yun nga, Stellar looks to be in front of four people. He goes golden, but it will only delay the inevitability of death. As Julie oh, will no. heal a big amount. Oh, no. They will try to kill more people over here. Pero flash out nga, sabi ni Yobel, mamamatay kaya siya dito. Medyo nag-freeze sa atin. <laughs> Hindi ko nakpansin. Shutdown will go for that. A double kill dito para sa Mordekaiser. And nagkaubusan na. A triple kill for the Morde. Okay, so hindi ko nakita yung fight, pero let's see what happened with this replay. Then natin here, Ash gets that damage, but here goes Pandora in the middle of everyone actually. That's why he got a lot of kills on that side. Renekton is probably super aggressive here. Dahil nakita nga natin siya with the tower there, he's just gonna take down. Yeah, and that was another misplay coming in from LG. Uh, LG. And this looks to be the misplay that oh. might be lethal. The They're giving baron. away the third Baron. <laughs> Nako, and that's not even a leash coming in from LG. It's just straight up MCL taking this Baron to themselves. Oh, Hindi no. na nila mababawi to. This is getting bleak for oh, LG. The gold advantage that LG, yung pinangahawakan na LG wala na, nakuha na ng MCL because of that. Sabi mo nga, yung third baron na binigay na naman nila sa MCL. Man, uh, this is uh, terrible <laughs> for LG. LG, earlier on, about 8 to 10 minutes ago, they had the opportunity to close out this game. Yeah. But the skill shots weren't landing, the objectives were not exactly going towards their favor, okay, and... Then. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> LG, looks like... It's starting to be a leash game for them. Yeah. Actually, 40 minutes in this game, ang tagal na nung game, not your typical League of Legends game because we hit the 40 minute mark with MCL here with the Baron. Ano kaya ang gagawin nila? Probably gonna push some lanes, but where and uh, or probably gonna split. Let's see. Yeah, we have to wait and see kung ano bang gagawin ng Admo dito because what they will do next will be the crucial part of them taking the lead back. But for MCL, it's quite obvious kung anong gusto nilang gawin ngayon. They have the third Baron buff. They have enough gold to try and fight. And they want to take more objectives and more map control. So let's see kung paano gagawin ng MCL yun. Yeah, and now we're seeing them uh, getting this mid lane. Probably they're just losing on the... Ano tawag dito? Uh, what do you call that? You get the lanes. <laughs> the CS and something. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah that's a long wing clear, right? right. Mahihirapan siya dito. And, and Dash, we, Renekton, yes, strong lane bully, but you have to burn a lot of skills if you want to clear waves. And he's not even building Tiamat, so matatagalan talaga. Oh, uh, yun nga, actually. That's why <coughs> Franz here is losing on that uh, wave clear laban kay Mordecai. So the tower in the mid lane gets taken off. Another gold advantage. May, medyo 2k advantage. 1.5k quick mats, yeah, yun. MCL gets a 1.5k gold advantage. Yeah, and as of now, MCL marching towards the base of Admo. This is gonna be massive for MCL. Their debut game looking good as of now. Yeah. Takeshima stealing a lot of objectives away from Admo. And of course, Pandora providing the space together with Stellar and the other people of MCL as well. Hindi magkakaroon ng mga magagaling na magdanakaw kung walang mga accomplice. <laughs> Takeshima get doing the actual deed, but the accomplices, the getaway car, the getaway vehicle, <laughs> yung mga tagahawak ng bag, money heist nga, ginawa ng MCL dito. <laughs> Pandora just taking the jungler hostage every time na kukuha sila ng objective. Kaya Takeshima just gets in, gets the objective, uh, gets some gold on his way, and gets away.
Oh, ano, Bella Chow, Bella Chow yung music ni <laughs> ano dito no, eh, ni Takashima. Right? Every time may baron, every time nag-objective yung ad mo na malaki. Ano? <laughs> na, 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 na. Oh, Bella Chow, Bella Chow, Bella Chow. <laughs> speaking of big objective Wait, dash, in the break na. Uh-huh. Seeing the Elder Dragon being taken here also. There you go, fight. Oh, oh, Enchanted Crystal Arrow landing on Julie Pero masyadong tanky dito si Julie Yobel oh. Will deal significant amount of damage na dito rin Si Galio will landing on 3 people Pero Pandora, ang dami niyang tinatake sa harapan oh. Hakaw, hindi pa rin nahawakan dito Pero tumatakbo na si Julie, shutdown, mapupunta dito kay Pandora Si Yobel will take one Papasok ulit dito si Stellar, pero low HP na siya The Brom will take a little bit of damage in, in It's the stead of Stellar, pero na golden siya sa harapan This looks oh. to be the next kill Pero makaka-dash out siya Hakaw getting on a rampage over there with the kill Low HP na si Lunar, mapapatay kaya nila dito The Brom Shield oh, will this. not be enough as Yobel will get two, and this is a shutdown for the Kesriel once again. And this is a oh. triple kill for Hakao as LG. Wala na pamigay, pamigay pa. LG uh-huh. is not leash game, uh-huh. LG is late game. LG just wants to finish this game. Hinahanap na nila kanina pa yun, but now the skill shots na hinahanap nila hit actually Yobel getting a lot of damage from MW uh, Warlock's side. That's why they won this game. Yeah, and alam mo, Dash, dagdag ko na rin sa punto mo kung bakit sila nanalo sa laro na to. Hindi na sila nag-big objective. Bakit pa tayo mag-enter? Drake, nadakawin, magbe-bela chow na naman tong mga to eh. Di ba? Para... Mabib- mabibigay na naman natin sa kanila. Kaya they are just wanting to get those skills kasi doon naman sila nananalo eh. Kaya, yeah, good point there, homie. Yeah, I mean, bakit ka pa mag-elder Drake kung nanakawang ka na ng tatlong baron? <laughs> wag na, wag na, wag na, wag na mag-smite war! Tapusin na yung laro! Pero yun nga, gumana ang uh, kanilang, uh, kanilang game plan at that point. But Dash, do you have any other analysis for that game? Or is it very simple na talagang back and forth lang? Uh, medyo back and forth. Siguro kaya tumagal yung game just for me is... Uh, Warlock stealing all those barons. Kung di nila na-steal yun, LG could have finished almost 20 minutes in 25 minutes in the game. Nung unang baron pa lang, sana natapos na nila. But there you go, there's the baron steals coming in. 